Here we go. 85569. 85570. 85571. In this review, we're looking at three models of the Caterpillar 320 series next generation machines. Model 85569 is the Caterpillar 320. Model 85570 is the Caterpillar 320 GC. And model 85571 is the Caterpillar 323. The packaging of all the models is of the same standard, so we'll look at the Caterpillar 320 to see how it looks. They all come in the typical Diecast Masters standard packaging, and that begins with a white outer shipping carton. And inside that, there's a white nylon bag, and that protects the model's tin. And if we pull the tin out, we can see why it's worth protecting. And that's because the quality of the artwork and the printing is excellent. This is the front, and on the back, there's information about the real machine. So let's now take the lid off and dive in and see what we've got. And the first thing out is the usual mini brochure, and that describes the latest range of Caterpillar models. Also included with this model is a simple instruction sheet, and that will help us get the operator in the cab. And if he's in any way reluctant, we've got a tool to do the job. And there he is, waiting to be manhandled out of the box. Next, we have the usual piece of foam rubber in the top. And when we take that out, we see these models are a little bit different from the usual because they've got some soft paper. And that provides even more protection for the model. So carefully, we lift it out with a giant hand crane. And then there's just some packaging to remove because that's there to protect the crawler tracks. Well, assembly is an unusual word to use to get an operator to go into his cab. And even more unusual is to get hold of him around the head with a giant pair of tweezers. Still, sometimes operators have to be dealt with with discipline. And it's no good being too soft with them. And if he doesn't like it, just stick the lid on and we won't have to listen to him shouting. <laughs> For the detail, we'll look at the 320 and note any differences on the other two models. And to begin with, the metal tracks are nice enough and mounted on simple frames with tiny graphics. The 320GC is a simpler machine for emerging markets, and it has a simpler and smaller set of crawler tracks than the other two. And you can see that in comparison with the 323. The cabs are nicely detailed, they have metal grab rails and there's a mirror outside, and the cat name appears on the seat back and on the side of the controls. One difference is that the 320 and the 323 have a window in the roof, but the 320GC is simpler as it has no window. There's also a slight difference in the way the windscreen wiper is modelled on the 323 as it's larger and on the opposite side. The bodies all have graphics for grills, and there are other nice graphics and highlighting on the counterweight. On the opposite side there are textured steps and metal handrails, and the grills on top are represented by graphics. One other thing to note is that the engine cover is plastic, and it's a pity there's a very slight colour difference to the metal parts. More tiny graphics on the counterweight add to the detail, and the modelling of the hydraulics has improved with soft hoses and silvered connectors. The 323 model is different because it has these parts on top of the body, and moving on to the boom and stick, there are more nice hydraulics with rubber hoses and connectors, and the connection rivets are painted. The 320 and the 323 have a couple of small parts on the boom here and here, and the attention to detail is such that on the 320GC, those parts aren't on the boom and stick. Also impressive is that each model has a different bucket. The 320 has a slight additional wear plate on the bottom edge, and that's not there on the 320GC bucket. The 323 is a bigger machine, so it gets a bigger bucket. Moving on to the functionality, and it's essentially the same for all three models. The crawler tracks won't bite on a smooth surface, but you can roll them easily by hand, and they would work nicely on a rougher surface. Sometimes it's all in the wrist action, and that applies here as we rotate the model. It rotates smoothly without any rocking. And lastly, we move on to the digging function. The hydraulic rams are all stiff, so they hold a pose, and overall the range of movement is good. 
so we can stretch the boomstick and bucket out far. Or if we want to curl up nice and cosy, we can do that. And you can see that the bucket folds in a long way, and the boom settles reasonably low for transport. But if we want to dig down a little bit deeper, then the overall range of movement is quite good, but the boom doesn't go down quite as low as perhaps the real machine does. These are nicely improved versions of the 320 series excavators, and in particular it is nice that the operator is removable. And also impressive are the minor detailed differences between the models, and they are not just the same model rebadged. They are beautifully presented and overall they are very good. Mm -hmm. 